down to highlighters. I feel like there's not going to be many that I'm going to get rid of, but nonetheless, I've got my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which I absolutely love. So that is definitely staying. I do have this little mini Benefit High Beam Cream Highlighter. I never ever use this. I think I've only ever used it once maybe, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I've also got this Benefit Boxed Blush. This was in 10. It's a bronzing and highlighting powder. I think it's just called 10, 1, 0. I'm not sure. But you've got the bronzy shade and then the pink highlighter shade. I use this for so many years, but it's just something I don't reach for now because I've got so many other products. So I am going to pass that one on. I've got another cream product. This is from MAC. This is a cream color base in Shell. Now, I did actually sanitize this the other day, so it looks as though it hasn't dried properly, so it looks a bit wet, but this is just something I don't use. I just never use it. I don't particularly like cream bases because of my oily skin, so I am going to get rid of that. I've got the, the Balm Mary Luminizer highlighter. I do love this. It is so intense, but I am going to keep it. The MAC Pearl Matte Face Powder in Pink Buttercream. This was out of a limited edition collection and it is adorable, so I can't part with that just yet. I've then got another MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in Redhead. This was also a limited edition one. I love that. And MAC definitely have some of my most favorite products. So this is the Definitely Defined Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And I get a lot of use out of that, especially this darker shade. I love that. So that will be staying. I do have this sample from Golane, the Meteorites. It's sort of like a little sample of the sort of pearls. I'm going to get rid of it. I have used it a few times, but I don't particularly like it. I feel like it looks very sparkly and shimmery on my skin. So I'm going to pass that on. And then left in here, I do have one of the Hourglass brushes. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave that in here. And I also have an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light, which I love using as an all-over all over setting powder, which I love that one. Now, there are a few things that aren't in these drawers that are actually in my weekly makeup basket. So I do have another Hourglass ambient powder in luminous light and a few other different things so in case you don't see them in here that's where those ones are all right so this is into one of my favorite drawers this is blush i love blush so much as you can tell so one of the first ones i'm gonna get rid of because i've never used it is the tarte cheek stain in flush Apparently you can use this as a lip gloss as well. It smells really pretty. I just don't use these kinds of products. I don't use creams at all. So that one's going. Benefit Coralista Blush. I did use this quite a bit when I first got it. But I just have other blushes that I reach for a lot more than this. I do love the shade. But I'm simply going to get rid of it just for the sheer fact of trying to remove products that I no longer use. All right, I've got a NARS blush here in Gilda. Now, this is also another blush I don't use very often. I don't know why. It is a really pretty color, but I don't reach for it. I have some other NARS blushes that I like a lot more. So I've got Luster, which is like a peach kind of color with shimmer. I love that, so I'm going to keep that. And I've also got NARS Blush in Orgasm, which I also really like. So I am going to part with Gilda. I also have a little mini sample blush here in the color Deep Throat. I do want to keep this only because I don't have any other blushes in this kind of light pink shade. So I'm going to keep a hold of it, try it out in a weekly makeup basket and see how I like it got an hourglass blush this is in mood exposure this is an amazing blush it is incredibly soft it's it's beautifully pigmented I don't have a blush color quite like it it's a very natural color you can also build it up so it can be quite deceiving but it's just it's just such a unique kind of mauvey 
purpley colour, which I'll keep. Estee Lauder blush. This is the pure colour blush in Hot Sienna. I love this. I haven't gotten a whole heap of use out of it, but I just adore it. It's such a pretty colour. Again, it's incredibly soft and it's just a really nice wearable colour. So I am going to keep that one. I've got two Tarte blushes. I've got one in Thankful and one in Memorable. I've got these out of the Christmas set from Tarte last year. Now, Thankful I actually put in a weekly makeup basket the other week because I don't use pink blushes like this. This is probably one of the only hot pink blushes I own. So for that simple fact, from using it in a whole week, I actually didn't mind pink blush. For some reason, I just don't use it because I feel like it doesn't suit me, but I am going to keep a hold of it. The one in Memorable is a really pretty dark, dusty pink, and I am going to keep that because it's a really pretty pink colour. And Tarte blushes are so pigmented and they wear really beautifully. I've got a depotted MAC blush. This is in the colour Buff. It's a matte, a matte powder. I love this. I've had this for a really long time. It's incredibly wearable. It's just a perfect blush colour if you don't know what blush colour to wear. So I love that. I need to stick it in a palette. I've then got a limited edition MAC blush. This is in Azalea Blossom. It's a blush ombre. I did actually have a, another one like this. I can't remember. I think it was called like Grape. Vintage Grape, I think it was called. And I actually sold that at the last Canberra Markets I went to. But I did decide to keep this one only because it was just so unique. It's such a pretty pinky purple blush. I don't have anything like it whatsoever. It's this one here. It's just, it's a really pretty brush, blush to look at. So I have decided to keep it for now and I'll see if I get any use out of it. This is one of my favorite everyday work blushes. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Soft Color Blush in Coral, which is just a really nice orange. These are shades that I just, I reach for all the time. And I've used this one a whole heap and it doesn't even look it. So I love that and I will keep it. Next, I've got this little tray filled with blushes. Now this tray I actually got from Big W. I think it was like $2 or something. So this is nice. I feel like I need to get more of them to, to sort of sit in these larger drawers. But I've got my two Becca blushes. I love both of these. I've got Songbird and Wild Honey. That is Songbird. That's the one that reminds me of the Napoleon blush, which I just love. And then I've got Wild Honey. I've then got an Alluring Aquatics MAC Seduced Sea blush, which is beautiful. I love this. I then have a Mineralized blush from MAC in Fresh Honey, which again, these orange shades I use so often this one is really pigmented it just goes beautifully on the skin and i just i love wearing shades like this i feel like it goes so nicely with my skin i've then got a mac sheetone shimmer blush in spring sheen so you can see these orangey kind of shades i have lots of different varieties i love that then a Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I've gotten a whole heap of use out of that one. It's just a really pretty light peach colour. And then lastly, a MAC Limited Edition Blush. I'm trying to think of what collection this was from. Liberty of London. This, I'm pretty sure, was the very first MAC blush I ever got. It's probably one of the very first MAC products I ever bought. This is in Prim and Proper. It's a satin blush. Now, this was back before I even knew about, you know, colours and what suited me and what didn't. This seemed like the most natural colour to choose, I guess, which is why I picked it up. You, I can tell that the top layer just needs to be scratched off because it's quite dry. But it is a really nice blush colour to wear. So I've done a nice heavy swatch there. 
it's just very wearable. It is a really pretty colour. I do want to try and finish it up one day. But a part of me also doesn't want to because I want to look at that packaging forever. So I am going to keep that one. So I'll just put everything back in that I'll be keeping. So I'll be getting rid of all of these ones. So those ones are going to be going... And I'm left with a really nice, neat drawer. I'm definitely thinking of getting, you know, some more of these little containers because I feel like it, um, it will definitely help to stack things up nicer. And I might even be able to incorporate my bronzers and blushes in the same drawer just to save on space. So that is all my blushes done. Alrighty, so the only things left... I've got this that sits on my makeup counter of mascaras. So I've got a Lancome Hypnose Doll Eyes in Waterproof. I didn't even know I had this in a waterproof one. Okay, so I'm just going to put him with the other waterproof mascaras that I have there. Now these are ones that I have opened up and used, which is why I keep them here, just to make sure that I finish them. So I've got the Dior Show Maximizer Lash Primer. I love this so much. So he's going to stay. I've then got the Rimmel Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil. I don't particularly enjoy this. I feel like it doesn't really give me long lashes. But I want to finish it up until it dries out. And then the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I do really like this mascara. So they are all good to sit there. Now just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Now in this drawer I have changed what I store in here. It just helps to keep it away from dust and from going yuck. I also have some isopropyl alcohol. I use this to sanitize makeup. I also use this to set any loose, you know, like um, crushed powders, crushed eyeshadows, things like that. So I've got them in there. I've got a whole heap of products I want to repurchase and some back to Mac stuff. Then I've got, you know, my little watch collection, some different brushes, some nail stuff. This was a little um, mirror compact I used on my wedding day. So now I do have a couple things in here. So I've got a Napoleon foundation. This is the Sheer Genius Liquid Foundation in medium look three this is very like too dark for me at the moment but i actually don't particularly like this if i'm going to use a napoleon foundation i like using the china doll foundation a lot better so i this was expensive too i think this was like 60 dollars, but i am gonna pass that on i've then got this skin 79 super bb i don't know what you call it bb cream balm I've used this a few times. I like the undertone to it because it's quite neutral. So it gets rid of a lot of redness that I have. But I never reach for this. Like I never ever use it. And it's definitely not something I can use in summer because it's quite oily. And I sweat and I get really oily in summer. So I think I'm going to pass that on as well. Um, so I've got these Young Blood Mineral Powder samples. Um, yeah, it's like a little sampler pack. I've already taken out the shades that suit me, which I've got in my bottom drawer there with my foundations. But these shades don't suit me whatsoever, so I may as well pass those ones on too. Now let's see if I've got anything else. I do have like a backup here of the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I haven't opened this one yet because I have my other one. I love this, so that's going to stay. I've just got a little chapstick tin. It's got nothing in it. I've got some nail stuff, some pens, eyelashes, which I don't use very often. I've got a random lollipop. Um, I think that is everything. That is all of my makeup decluttered. This has taken me hours and hours to film. I cannot believe it. I really thought I'd be able to get all these in one video. But if I did, I'm pretty sure the video would be like three hours long. Crazy. 
So I'm going to show you this little blue container. This is everything I'm going to pass on. I can't believe it almost fills up the entire thing. That is crazy. Underneath, that's just my empties bin. So now my drawer holds no makeup in it whatsoever. My makeup brushes have all been decluttered, but they're in the process of being washed. I've got my eye pencils and my current mascaras that I'm using. I then have my perfumes. I've got my little lipstick container here. Just some of my high-end Tom Ford's. Just some lip glosses and my MAC foundation. I use that quite often, so I leave that one standing up. Now I'm thinking what I'm actually going to do is buy some more of these or buy one huge one to fit the entire top so that I can put lipsticks like these in. So try and find ones that fit them because I don't think these do. No. And so then that way I can then go through like these drawers and add some of these to the top section. That's what I'm thinking. But... So now everything is laid out really nicely so that you can see everything at a glance, which is how is how I like it. Otherwise, you forget that you have certain products and you don't use them. Obviously, with the exception of foundation, because I feel like you need to look for particular colors. You know how some wear compared to others. I then have just my little palette set up on the side here. Then on this storage section, I've got my some single eyeshadows and some sort of like little mini palettes, some eyeshadow bases, mascaras, some brow stuff, yeah, more bases. I then have my highlighters and then my blush which is just so nice to be able to see everything. I then just have some setting sprays here. I also have an Arbonne makeup primer, and this is just a MAC brush cleanser. And then I just have some bits and pieces sitting on top there, just some skincare, an eye cream, some Chloe perfumes. So that is the declutter of my makeup table. So. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I always enjoy watching videos like this because I don't know, it's it's sort of a relief and I used to definitely live in the world that, you know, you needed more more more. The reason I'm doing a lot of project pan videos is because I'm wanting to use up my makeup collection, you know. I don't want to have a million things and even though this seems excessive to a lot of people, I've definitely definitely getting rid of a lot of things there so you know I can actually get through these things and enjoy the collection that I have. Thanks so much for watching my declutter video. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.